Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Christian Mundigler. I am the manager of the Rotox aircraft engine business. As you already heard, yes, the new innovation has arrived, the Rotox 912 IS engine. Let's have a look on the key specs. 100 HP, the same as the 912 fuel S. Electronic fuel injection, digital engine control unit, ECU. Electric fuel pump module with two fuel pumps in series, one main pump and one auxiliary pump. Four cylinders, horizontal opposed, four stroke liquid and air cooled. Overload clutch included the gearbox. No leaded fuel necessary. You can run this engine on MOGAS, on AFGAS, or on E10. Finally, the same TBO of 2000 hours. Let's have a look on the technical highlights. Dual fuel injectors in each cylinder, meaning pot injectors, not direct injectors. Fuel pressure regulator at the end of the fuel line. The ECU with redundant hardware inside, manufactured and designed from Rockwell Collins, our partner, long-term partner, including a diagnosis system, internal aviation standard CAN bus aerospace protocol. The ignition system, consists of a dual ignition coils, dual spark plugs, and the fuse box. You need no tool, LED indicators inside showing if the circuit breakers are pressed in. Dual generators at the back of the crankshaft, one for the engine providing 16 amps, and one for the cockpit or the aircraft providing 30 amps. And a redesigned oil pump with six instead of four chambers providing more oil flow to cooling the generators. And finally, the exhaust system with integrated EGD sensors. Fuel injection means no carburetors, no need to service and synchronize carburetors every 200 flight hours, and also means, of course, no carburetor icing. Means also easier pre-flight check and starting. And for the mechanics and service people, a computer-based electronic diagnosis system makes it easier to diagnose and service the engine. The Rotox 912IS aircraft engine provides best fuel efficiency in the industry. Our slogan is spend more time in the air and go further with the same amount of fuel. Lower operating cost, savings up to $4,000 per 100 hours, which is an average one year flying. As you can see, compared to other aircraft engines. Improved emission footprint due to lower CO2 emission levels from minus 38 to 70 percent, again compared to other aircraft engines, as you can see yourself. The redundant ECU ensures optimal fuel air mixture in any altitude and monitors each cylinder individually. At the weight of 140 pounds, the 912IS delivers the best power to weight ratio for a fuel injected aircraft engine in the market. And now you may ask what happened since the launch in Austria, March. Eight, ASTM F2339-06 compliance completed last week on Monday, July 16th. A major requirement for shipment into global markets, especially here in USA. All serial production engines, even previously delivered ones, will receive the ISTM conformity statement. 912ISC EASA certificate What's going on in this? BAP concluded its certification activities now and expects type certificate or the TC issuance of EASA in August. Start of production of certified Rotox 912 ISC engines in autumn as soon as we have received the certificate from EASA. And next step will be the FAR 33 validation together with FR, planned as next step after the TC. OEM installation support Product support teams of our entire Rotox network are currently assisting aircraft manufacturers installing the new Rotox 912IS in their airframes. So the Rotox 912IS aircraft engine is an evolution of the proven Rotox 912 engine family. Aero TV is brought to you by Avidyne is the brand of choice for pilots who want innovative, easy-to-use avionics. And the new IFD 540 and 440 FMS GPS Navcoms set a new standard for ease of use and simplicity. 
is plug and play replacements for legacy 530 and 430 series navigators, the Hybrid Touch user interface of the IFD 540 and IFD 440 makes it much easier to access the information you want while reducing head down time and making flying more enjoyable. Now you have a choice, and the choice is easy, Abidine.